Hey guys, it's a vintage librarian. <clears throat> We're gonna wait a second to let some people jump on this live chat feed. So, you know, if you're not familiar with live chats, sometimes you need to wait a few seconds um, just to kind of get things rolling for people. Usually I just kind of run and get it done with a lot of my hauls and stuff, but this one's a little different. It's a it's a different kind of video today. We're going to be chatting about instant savings at Dollar General. Um, I posted the instant savings list uh, last night that I had um, for that moment, um, as of April 1st, that moment. Um, but then, I, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, from people about how exactly do you use instant savings? How does that work? They're like confused. So hopefully you've got yourself your tea or your coffee and maybe some snacks. <laughs> I got a bowl of jelly beans. I kind of like jelly beans. So I got myself ready here. Man, my glasses are so dirty, guys. Ugh. But um, this is a moment if you guys have any questions feel free to list them at any point. I am going to be following along on my computer and of course on the phone here, how things are working and we will just free for all this one. So instant savings. Hopefully you guys watched the list yesterday, watched the video, what is going on with that one at the moment. But our instant savings, we have a huge, Hey, she's not here yet. <laughs> um, I'm here. Um, so we have a huge instant savings list. What's your website? I really don't have a um, website. I have my YouTube channel and then a Facebook and of course an Instagram. So that's kind of what I use um, to communicate. Mostly the biggest um, communication I use for uh, giving you all deals and information is through YouTube. Um, I do like to share things also on Facebook and Facebook is a great spot for other couponers to share with me and other people under my community tab, which I really like. Um, I do like Facebook in that, abs in that aspect. And then Instagram, you know, I put my deals and I put my life on there. So it's a, it's a little bit of a, if you like if you're interested in about my life and things like that, that I do. Um, but it is great to see you guys on here. So instant savings. Um, and we're going to talk about more than just instant savings today. So a lot of people are like, how do you use instant savings? How does that work? I don't understand it. Probably the easiest instant savings deal that I've been using since day one has been Lysol. Um, there is an instant savings deal that has been going on for a long, long time. And everybody who's watched this channel knows I love my Lysol. And some of you have sent me Lysol coupons. Thank you. Um, but there is an instant savings deal currently where if you spend $10 in Lysol products, you will instantly get $2 off at the register. So... Imagine you go to the dollar aisle because it does work on the dollar aisle. Um, some instant savings deals, they only work on specific products, but um, this is just the easiest one for me to start with. So Lysol allows you to purchase anything as long as you hit $10. So if I go to the dollar aisle and I grab 10 um, $1 Lysol toilet bowl cleaners, I, I get 10 of them. So 10 times $1 is $10. When I go to the register and they click through, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the cashier hits subtotal, once she hits subtotal, $2 is going to come off. Because remember, when you spend $10 in Lysol products, $2 will come off. So I bought $10, they hit subtotal, $2 is automatically subtracted, and it should be um, $8. That's without factoring in your tax. So it's always going to be a little bit different for everybody. Some states have tax. Those people, I'm jealous. <coughs> but, um, you know, it will take that into account. So when we're talking about a lot of our deals that we do on here, like three off of 15 deals, which I know some of you are getting two off of 15 coupons now. 
Um, I'm still getting three off of 15. I just did surveys today and I'm still getting three off of 15 in my area. I have a feeling that a lot of you are going to probably end up getting changed over to that a lot faster than I am. If you're in a smaller area, um, I think we're going to probably be hit last. Uh, but a lot of people's coupons, their survey coupons are turning to two off of 15. If you didn't already know about that. So right now we have three off of 15 survey coupons. Those surveys are found at the bottom of your dollar general receipt. So whenever you like buy a stick of gum and they, you get your receipt at the very bottom, it's going to say, Hey, fill out this survey and you will get $3 back. Once you fill out this survey, you'll get a coupon. So you go online, you do your little dealio and you fill it out and you can either email the coupon to yourself or print it out right then and there if you're hooked up to a printer. Um, so you'll print out your little coupon you can take to the store with you doo, 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 doo. and a three off of 15 coupon means you're going to spend $15 in products and they will take $3 off once you spend $15 at the register. Now what a lot of people don't understand is pairing that three off of 15 with instant savings deals and your coupons is then that's when the wheels get turning, you know, when you start saving those deals, saving that money, honey, right? So what you have to do is you always have to factor your instant savings first before you hit to your three off of 15 or whatever your subtotal is, or maybe you're doing the five off of 25 on Saturdays. That's the same thing as three off of 15, but it only happens on Saturday where you get $5 off when you spend $25. So say it's Monday through Friday and I'm going to spend $15 on products, which is what I usually like to do myself. Um, and I'm going to do an instant savings deal on Lysol. So let's make it super easy. We go to the dollar aisle, right? We get, we're going to get, let's see, has to be 10, so 15. We're going to get 17 Lysol toilet bowl cleaners, right? And we're still getting $2 off when you spend 10. So, but we got 17. So that's $17 because 17 of the $1 Lysol toilet bowl cleaners times one is 17. When they hit subtotal, it's automatically going to click off those $2. So it's going to take it to 15. That's when I can hand over my three off of 15 to the cashier. Then they scan it and it takes three more dollars off, which takes it to 12. And then if you have coupons such as paper coupons, internet printables, or even digitals. So then you could type in your digital and then that could go through, or you could hand them your paper coupons. And those would take your subtotal even lower past $12 and make it an even smaller out of pocket. Hopefully, hopefully that is a, the easiest way to understand how instant savings works. That's probably one of the easiest scenarios I could probably tell you. Now I see people are talking on here and I have it pulled up on my computer, which is being really stupid. <laughs> it's not being really stupid. It's just being slow. It's pulling up everybody's comments. Uh, some people have two off of 15. We're still getting three off of 15 in Michigan. Hi from Oklahoma. Mine just changed last Saturday to two off of 15. <coughs> well, that's still good, though, that we're, we're hitting at that $15 mark. Ooh, somebody's got a hateful. Sorry, I'm removing somebody off of here. I'm putting them in timeout. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, took me a minute. Um, names like that that come on this, uh, I know. And then I started hearing the baby in the background. 
she had to go to sleep really early tonight. She, uh, her schedule's wonky, so she's really, really tired. Um, but I thought I heard her moving around, but it looks like she's asleep again. But yeah, I have a troll. I ended up blocking them, so anybody who has a name like that, you know, you already know you need to probably block them. So, um, yeah, so Angela, she said, hi from Oklahoma. Mine just changed last Saturday to two off of 15. So it's still good in a sense that we are all supposed to hit a certain subtotal. So a lot of the deals that I'm still going to tell you guys, like three off of 15, I would still st say to pay attention to them because you can still use those two off of 15 for those same deals. So when you're looking around on YouTube for other users that do Dollar General deals or even on Facebook when they're using the three off of 15 deals, just make sure you think in your mind, oh yeah, I'm probably going to have to spend one more dollar out of pocket versus everybody else because I have um, the two off of 15 coupon versus the three off of 15 coupon. So that's not too terrible. The one that really sucks is trying to figure out two off of 20 deals for people because honestly, I would probably just, if I had two off of 20, I don't know what I would do. I would probably just wait until Saturday all the time because, I mean, I guess it's not too terrible. That's not too terrible, but I feel like I could get a lower out of pocket every Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. Still getting three off of it. Some parts of Texas too. Dick, uh, Dixie is telling me they're still getting the, they're getting the two off of, um, two off of 20. And I think, um, one of my regular subscribers, Mario was telling me that before had said something that they had gotten that. Got some weird people on here sometimes. So, sorry I'm sitting <laughs> like sitting here strangely for a hot minute, guys. Um, we have some trolls and, you know, it doesn't happen to me too often that I get trolls on this channel. Um, but I guess now that I have more people on here, it happens, which is weird to me because I'm like, y'all need to get your life. If you got time to sit here and troll people's channels and be rude and hateful, you got time to, I don't know, make yourself into a better person. I don't know. <laughs> People are weird. Anywho, so we've kind of talked a little bit about <laughs> it was. It wasn't terrible. It was just like, what in the world? So, um, yes, we were talking about instant savings. So if you guys have any questions, list them now at any point. I'll answer them, but I was trying to explain kind of how those instant savings works. Hopefully it was in an understandable manner for you. So an, here's another one. Uh, one of the other ones that's one of my favorite instant savings we've been doing has been like dial. So if you spend, which I see some people are looking at the um, instant savings list I have here right now. I have a printable savings list as well, um, which is in the instant savings video. Um, so there is a, a, a link within that video if you go to it from, I posted it early this morning. Um, so <clears throat> another instant savings example would be the $3 when you buy $8 off of Dial, Schwarzkopf Gliss, Tone, Right Guard, Dollar General Body Stuff. That's been one of my absolute favorites. Um, so again, you spend $8 worth of a product. And within this one where it says Dial, Schwarzkopf List, Tone, Right Guard, DG Body, you can actually mix and match those items. And as long as you spend $8 within those items, then you get $3 off. So Schwarzkopf Gliss is $5. I could get one shampoo, I guess. Um, and then you could get a Dial Body Wash that's $3.50. Boom, you got 850 right there. It's gonna automatically, when you go to the register, give them that one shampoo that's five dollars and that dial body wash, which is three dollars and fifty cents. Once it hits 850 and she presses subtotal, or he, excuse me, could be a gentleman, um, presses subtotal at the cash register, three dollars is automatically gonna come off. So three minus uh, 850 minus three is 
here's me in my math, 550. Um, and then you hand over your coupons for those items. So you could have maybe like a dollar off of the Gliss or something like that. But there was a buy one, get one free uh, Swarshkoff Gliss one, which was really awesome. So if like you had the Swarshkoff Gliss BOGO coupon that was out there. I don't know the expiration date. It might have already gone. But this would have been an example where um, if it's still floating out there, you guys can check out Coupon Tom. Um, Google Coupon Tom, it's a coupon database that lets you know what coupons are out there, where they're at, what inserts they're in, and then all you gotta do is go to something like Coupon Flea Market and order your coupons. That's, that's, that's my usual game, guys. That's usually what I do. Um, if there's a certain deal I see early on in some inserts like two weeks ahead, I'll just go ahead and look on Coupon Tom, see if they're there, available already. If not, I'll check my Facebook groups and then I'll check also Coupon Flea Market and I'll get my coupons. So the BOGO deal, back to that. So if you have the instant savings of save $3 when you buy $8 worth of Dial, Swarshkoff Gliss, Tone, Right Guard, DG Body. I buy a shampoo and a conditioner of the Gliss. That's $10. I hand them, they hit subtotal. It takes $3 automatically off. That's $8, or excuse me, $7. My math is terrible. So that's $7. And then I hand them my BOGO coupon, which is $5 off. So seven minus five, that's $2, $2 huge savings. It's amazing, right? That's 80% savings right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome deal. So um, that's kind of how instant savings work. And then of course we pair them with our three off of 15 survey coupons to get an even lower out of pocket and more items for the same amount of money that you could buy those two items. Some people are hitting up the chat fast on me. So I better look. Okay, let me try to scroll up to some people. I have a ton of tags for instant savings. They don't expire when they say they do, <laughs> right? Um, I love Dollar General. <laughs> and actually, um, one of my little hidden gem Dollar Generals that's the closest to me, um, they're getting totally redone. So it's going to be a little harder for me to coupon right now because the other Dollar General I like to go to as well is about 15, 20 minutes from me. And it's, if you already know, it's a little harder. Even though it's just 15, 20 minutes away with a kid, it's kind of hard sometimes. So um, it's already hard enough for those employees to get those tags up. <laughs> Just imagine if they're getting a remodel. It's like, oh, wouldn't let me use the Saturday deal with the three off of 15. Yes, you cannot use Dr. Mary Mocha. <clears throat> I hope I'm understanding this right, though. Um, you cannot use a five off. Oh, somebody already said you can't use a five off of 20 with a three off of 15. You have to use them separately. Yes. Thanks, Alma. You rock. <laughs> so... And the reason why you can't use them both is they're both store coupons. If you didn't know, you can't stack store coupons together. Um, now, I, you can stack a, a, like a three off of 15. Um, the three off of 15 and five off of 25 is for a whole transaction, right? It's your whole transaction. So it's a store coupon that covers the whole transaction. But I could say get soft scrub. Um, because often um, they will put out a coupon for soft scrub for that's a dollar general coupon and a manufacturer coupon. You can stack a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon at dollar general with your three off of 15 and your five off of 25 because that covers the whole transaction. So and you're just putting it on that product. Just so you know, just so you know. Oh, thanks, Alma. I really try, guys. I try what I can. You know, I do my game when I can, when I can do it, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you guys don't already know, I have two jobs. I'm both a librarian and I'm a youth ministry director. And then, um, sorry, I don't know what the heck happened for a minute there. <laughs> it went a little weird for a hot minute. But if you didn't already know, I have two jobs. And then, of course, um, I practice my violin a lot and I do praise music for my church as well. And then, of course, I have um, a 13-month-old and my family. So, you know, couponing is just normal for me anyways. Um, I think it's helpful for me. And then I just try to tell you guys when I can and share it because why not? If I'm already doing it, I might as well share it with you guys. So I'm always happy to share it and I'm always happy to help you guys. So.
Why does it not work sometimes when you have multiples of eight? I'm not sure I understand that question. Uh, Bird and Amanda Hunter. Why does it not work sometimes when you have multiples of eight? Heard something weird. <laughs> You might have to try to retype that bird in Amanda, Hunt, Amanda Hunter. Don't know if anyone is a fan, but buy six Dr. Pepper 20 use three off of 15 pay 17. Oh. Chip a doll, throwing stuff out there, Dr. Pepper. Chip a doll's got a deal on there if anybody wants to look in the um, chat. How many times could you do the Gliss shampoo and conditioner if you have the buy one, get one, and three off 15, can you get $20 worth? Um, I don't know the limitations on that. You would have to look at your coupon. Um, the best thing I would do is right now what I am doing is I am going, I'm Googling Coupon Tom because I don't have the coupon in front of me and I don't know what your limitations for the Gliss coupon is. So that's usually how I figure out some of my stuff too. Of course, some people just like it if you do it for them, which I'm okay with that because I'm already doing it. So you're welcome. <laughs> but um, it doesn't, it's not popping up a Gliss coupon. Let me try Schwarzkopf. That's not pulling it up either. Hmm. Well, it's not pulling it up for me, and I cannot recall off the top of my mind um, how many you can do. Um, that's why sometimes people will send me these deals, and they're like, oh my gosh, you know, if you buy six um, products of Axe for $3, and you use these two coupon $2 coupons, and a three dollars 15 they're free, and I'm like, Yes, but did you read the limitations of the coupon? The coupon says you can only use two of those coupons. If you use more than two, you're fraudulent. You can't do that. You got to do just two. Um, so you got to be careful of that. You got to kind of look at those um, limitations on those coupons because let me tell you what. Some people will send me stuff uh, like deals at Walmart too. And I will tell you guys this. Walmart will call your butt out. Ooh. Now they've never done this to me, but man, you gotta be careful. Ooh. Walmart, they are straight serious about coupons. Now my Walmart, they're super sweet to me. They'll look at them and they're really nice and they're really cool to me, but man, mm, they will read every line of your coupon. So I'm just, I'm just telling people, you know, just saying, just saying. Oh, Gliss expired yesterday. You might have to just wait for another coupon to come, girl. So it doesn't even look like I could could answer that question, Dixie, because we don't even, it looks like that coupon expired yesterday. Dollar General would not let me use one of their coupons with a Clorox coupon. Both are paper coupons. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um... And I'm just, Cynthia, I'm just guessing that you were using them both on the same product. Oh, Cynthia, I just read about your problems. That's, that stinks. Girl, Cynthia. Okay, y'all, let me just tell you, let me just tell you, I will put it. I will put it in the description box, but you guys have more rights at Dollar General as a couponer than most places I've seen. You know, I've couponed at Family Dollar, I've couponed at Dollar Tree, I've couponed at Walmart. Those are my regular, in, in Dollar General, those are my regular stops. I don't coupon at Family Dollar because they just don't like couponers at that store. Um, but Dollar General has a clear and concise um, um, 
rules about couponing there at their store. Okay, you have so many rights, it's not even funny. Now, at Walmart, if I was to use those coupons, even though all of Walmart itself has its own rules about coupons, it does state at the very end that at the end of, at the end of the day, no matter what rules Walmart has, they put it in the hands of that manager on the floor at Walmart. So if they say, you can't use any coupons today, you can't use any coupons because guess what? Walmart put the power in their hands and that's just it. Now at Dollar General, if they start acting funny and hateful, now y'all just keep your Christianity, you know, <laughs> try to. But it is totally within your right to say, to just, you know, if it gets above and beyond of anything, you are totally within your right to call the district manager. You're totally within your right to complain. You're totally within your right to say something about it. So, you know, always, yes, Alma, always pull out that coupon policy. I always try to tell people to keep a paper uh, copy of those coupon policies at the places you shop at. I mean, even, who who's another? Crazy coupon uh, lady with a K. She keeps a couponing policy. Um, I want to say... Clean cut couponing. That cheat. That that lady keeps policy with her too. Um, you just kind of have to because you're gonna run across and and some days, guys, you're just gonna run across a cashier who's just a total turd, and they're having a bad day and they're gonna kick you down and you're just gonna have to ignore them and you're just gonna have, sometimes have to shop when they're not there. But a Dollar General, you can totally pull out that policy, and they do not control the store, right? And they don't have, nobody, nobody should treat you like that. Um, you have so many rights. Check out that policy of couponing policy. Um, I will, I'm going to Google it right now. That way I have it on hand here. And I'll put it in the description box. Because I've pulled it up so many times for different people and sent it to them. It's shocking, you know, how people just act stupid. Just straight stupid. But yes, honey, you can totally stack a store coupon and a manufacturer coupon together. So when they're hateful like that, uh, you know, got to stick with your guns and tell them to get it together. Let me scroll somehow back up here. Um, when you have, for example, instant savings... A three when you spend eight. It doesn't always take off all the instant savings. Say you spend $40, $40 and it doesn't take off 15 Yeah, okay. So when you're instant, sometimes, okay, so Bird and Amanda Hunter says, when you have, for example, instant savings of saving $3 when you spend $8, and it doesn't always take off all the instant savings. So say you spend $40 and it doesn't take that $15 off. That's when you as the couponer have to educate that cashier and you just have to say, oh my goodness, it didn't take all the money off. Um, is there a problem? Something happened? Because that's not the same total I got to. I mean, you don't, and I, and I hate to say it like that, but it, it's hard at first to do that. And I totally understand. I totally get you because it's, it's kind of like nerve wracking. You don't want to tell them how to do their job. I mean, certainly you don't want other people to come into your job and tell you how to do your job. But, you know, you just kind of have to say, oh, you know, I noticed that this instant savings is back there. It hasn't taken it all off. The tag says this, blah, blah, blah. Is it still on sale? And if it isn't still on sale, because that's happened to me before, I thought something was still on sale. I went in and it didn't work. Walk away. Totally cool to walk away. You don't have to buy it just because it's been checked out. Uh, just walk away. But usually that has happened once before. Like when we did the Cottonelle deal a long while back and there was instant savings with that. Pe for some reason, we were supposed to get instant savings and it was not coming off. People were informing the cashiers about it and they were nicely taking it off. Now, if you have a Dollar General that's hateful, you're just going to have to... <laughs> 
shoot at the hip with them. So Somebody said your case manager is a nutcase. Use your coupons with pride. Yeah, you should. Your coupons are money, guys. It's still money. Oh, you guys are awesome. Keep couponing, Cynthia. Everybody's encouraging you. <sighs> yes, Cynthia, shoot. If you lived around here, we'd get you another ride. I keep reading things about Cynthia on here. I'm like in it to win it. I'm just, Kroger is a store. Does not like my coupons at all. Kroger, man, people be winning at Kroger too. If I had a Kroger, I'd be I'd be YouTubing about Kroger. Always pull, yes, Cynthia. I'm gonna put that description in the description box because I'm already looking. All I did was Google it, and um, I found the coupon policy. So, girl, I'll I'll be hooking you up with that. It's gonna be in the description box. You print it out, and you tell people where to put it, in a nice Christian way. They need to put it in their Bible. That's where they need to put it. Let's see. Does anyone know where to get $3, three for $1 coupons for games? Yeah. Melissa, I got mine off of Coupon Flea Market. So the deal on that, I did want to talk about that tonight too, guys, because Melissa Johnson brought up a good one um, about the $3 Think she had her little thing mixed up with the dollar sign so if you buy one um gain item there's like a gain fling coupon out there right now where it's three dollars off of one if you go to walmart right now it's like three dollars and 94 cents and you can take that three dollar coupon and use it on the 16 count it has to be the 16 count and above guys you can't use it on the 14 count it says that you can't um so get the 16 count and dollar general has it too Get ready for next week, guys, which let me tell you the secret about that as well, because I know a lot of you are newbies at couponing. So if you already have that gain fling coupon, um, or if you don't, go to couponfleamarket.com, couponfleamarket.com. Um, you're going to go into the description box, and you're going to type in gain, um, and it is $3 off of one for the gain flings. You should get it. If you do it right now, you should get it before uh, hopefully Friday um, <clears throat> or Saturday. I would hope you get it Saturday morning. Um, so what I would do, if you live in a larger area with couponers that are going to clean a shelf, because guys, this is an amazing deal. They're going to clean a shelf and a lot of the balanced couponers are going to clean that shelf right off. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go in at the same time they are. And you're not going to have to go in Sunday. So next week, we are going to have Gain Flings on sale at Dollar General for $3.95. Well, you could use those um, Gain Fling coupons where they're $3 on those $3.95 Gain Flings and get them for $0.95. Cents. And you can pair them with a 3 off of 15 or a 5 off of 25 And if they were a balanced couponer, they're going to get as many as they can and push them through and get them all. So what you're going to want to do as a couponer if you don't already know, there's a there's a thing called early activation at Dollar General. At Dollar General on Saturday night at seven o'clock, their coupon, their their ad, it's like a magical mystical hour or two. Because mine mine's up until nine, I think. So it's like a, a magical mystical layer of Harry Potter for like two hours. So when it hits seven o'clock. Um, the current ad that is running that week and the ad that is going to work for next week with all the deals work at the same time. Ooh. Mind blown. It's insane. I know. But anyways, so that's why like a lot of you'll go in Sunday and you'll be like, what the crap? All, all the gain is already gone. Well, <laughs> Because everybody done rolled up in there on Saturday night at 7 o'clock during those mystical hours of Harry Potter and done took those flings and flung away. So, that's what you're going to want to do. Because that's probably what I'm going to try to do. I'm, I'm not too worried about it in my area because there's only like two, two, three other couponers in my area. So, I'm not really too worried about it. That is what I would do if I were you. What is the limit for coupons per item per purchase? The gain ones is two. 
It says too, I already actually looked it up and I have a picture of it that a girl just um, sent me a video message of it too. That's what I like about my Facebook group. I ordered my gain coupons through my Facebook group versus coupon flea market this time. And, um, <laughs> Miss Diva, I would know you, I knew you would, girl. She said she shops at 7 o'clock on Sherry. <laughs> There's certain one of you on here, like, I bet Amy Stotts does too. <laughs> but I am not finding those coupons in coupon flea market. Let me look. It might be all gone. I don't know. Fleamarket.com. Okay. But what I like about my Facebook groups is I'll order like a coupon and they'll take a picture of it. Like the envelope, send it to me. And then, like this one girl, she just sent me a video of her sticking it into the mailbox, which is kind of cool. Let me look for the gang one. I'm on coupon flea market, typing it in, figuring it out. They were on there, girl. I saw last week they were there, but they might not be no more. People might have done, uh, I would not be surprised. But they were there because I saw them before. Dang, they might already be gone. They were there Saturday. Woo, I'm telling you, that was, you will not want to know how much I paid for that, too. Normally, I pay, like, a dollar, two dollars at most for my coupons. Baby doll's laying down, Martha. She, she's wiped. She had a busy day today, being herself. <laughs> but, um, oh my gosh, guys, it, it is, it is gone. Okay, so here's the thing. I do know, though, that we have a $3 off of one digital gain fling coupon. Hold on to that one till next week, guys. Don't use it this week. Whatever you do, if you already have that digital $3 off of one, the gain fling, it even has the picture of the flings next to the tied flings. Don't use it this week. Use it next week because next week is when you're going to want to pair it up with a deal. And that's when I'm going to give you some. I'm still going to post a gain. Sorry, I don't know why it popped me off again. But um, but yes, make sure you hold on to those $3 for one gain fling coupon. Hold on to that for next week because that's when you're going to want to use it. You don't want to use it this week. You want to use it next week. I'm still going to post a, a gain scenario for this week for people. Um, that really need it, but I would hold on to it for next week. I apologize as well if I get, if I accidentally pass somebody's question. I do not mean to pass anybody up. <clears throat> I'm trying to make sure I get back to where I was and answer people's questions. <laughs> and that it still amazes me how fast that... I paid, oh, so I didn't tell you, I paid $5. I paid $5 for those gang coupons. I'm not kidding you. But when I think about it, I still spent over $5 before for a Sunday newspaper. Redonkulous. I have no idea why my phone keeps doing that. I'm trying to figure out why it's being stupid. But it cracks me up that Miss Diva even said, she was like, yep, that was me too. That was me too. I wonder if it's because I have too many things on my phone here. Okay. Mm, it's being weird. That cracks me up, though. We all be spending too much on these coupons. And I would have not normally gotten those coupons, but my mother-in-law uses gain so much that I was going to get it for her. I'm stocking up, baby. Ah. Uh. I feel so disappointed. Okay, so if you guys are trying to find those three off of one coupons, though, the only other way I could say you're going to find it is on a Facebook group. And if you're lucky to find it. But otherwise, I would hold on to those digital ones for next week because we'll work out a sweet deal for those. Yes, Dixie, they came out in the PNG. So if anybody is looking um, in your area, go to your local library. I can't tell you how many people have given me their PNGs. Um, 
You can also go online for the PNG as well. Um, you can get so many, like maybe two printables of that as well online. And I think you can actually email those coupons to yourself. I haven't done that in a long, long while, but that's one you could do too. But they came out in the April PNG. <laughs> Y'all are funny. You're like, I'm just going to roll it all out. I'm going to take all those games. Yeah, Maslin J, um, those other gain stuff is going to be, is going to be different. That $3 off of two, most of the time those $3 off of two gain ones are like, you have to get a detergent, a firework, and a fabric softener. Aw, somebody says sugar babe. My baby. That's why my, um. My thing is trying to update. My phone is. And yes, Beth, I just saw your thing. Uh, if you're not on my Instagram, Beth, I put out a thank you and my Facebook. I took a picture of my sweet note. Thank you so much. That's really nice when you guys send me those coupons. And actually, that poly dent's going to be helpful, too, um, because I have to get a lot of different items now that I'm not used to couponing for, uh, for my mother-in-law, for her teeth. So that's really helpful. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate it because I know <laughs> the amount of time it takes usually to sit there and clip coupons too. It's it's the pit sometimes. Oh my gosh, Bird. You bought $200 for $75. Girl. You're an extreme couponer. I thought I was extreme. <laughs> you was extreme. Yeah, that one was a, a pricey one, though. Ah, oh, Donna Lee. Yeah, I'm telling you what, sometimes there was another person who coupons that told me they got burnt by a couponer, or not a couponer, a person who get acquires coupons for you and, you know, clips them and stuff like that. And they got burnt by them. Never, 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 guys, ever uh, purchase somebody to send you internet printables because that, that starts getting hairy right there. Now that starts getting hairy. And I actually think um, coupons.com actually indicted some people for selling stuff like that. So don't ever... I mean, you can, you can purchase the man hours for someone to sit and clip those coupons and send them to you. You're not buying the coupons. You're, you're, you know, paying them for the time spent clipping them. Um, because it is, it is illegal to sell coupons. Um, but internet printables is totally one. You're just going to have to do the, the work for. You can't get that off of other people because coupons.com ain't playing. They said, nope. Don't be doing that. Golly. You poor thing. I hate it when people have a bad, have a bad, you know, moment with that. Miss Diva, the other coupons in my area, couponers in my area are savages. <laughs> savages, savages. Makes me think of Pocahontas here. They're savages, savages. Yeah, I'm picking out my little... Don't judge me. I'm a snack. Is there a downy deal for four eight eighteen? I know there's a downy thing where it's like you instantly save some money if you buy like the one hundred and five something for downy, the big huge thing of flings and like fireworks. I'll have to look that up again. That's the only one I know about. And that's like one of those weird savings that's been floating around that they do not advertise at all. Y'all are so funny. You're like, 
Move out the way. Where's the baby at? Why are you even in this video anymore? <laughs> so the baby um, has, yes, this morning she woke up with a temperature at three in the morning. No, she was hungry. She she actually knows we do baby sign, which I'm super thankful for, and I would advise anyone to try it. Um, you think, I know people probably think I'm just high maintenance and silly, but I'm telling you, baby sign language has saved our life. And she hears just fine. But I'm telling you, the, like, the communication of that is so amazing and so phenomenal. It's like we can speak to each other. And she understands. So anyway, it's like three in the morning. She's hungry. She's absolutely hot to the touch. She's signing milk. I give her some milk and some Tylenol. And I think it's because she's just teething. She's like slobbering like crazy again. She's already got a mouthful of teeth, but I'm pretty certain it's the back ones this time. And she had a diarrhea diaper the other day where she like, if you looked at the picture of us for Easter, it was absolutely adorable. It was like a, like a seersucker chambre kind of looking thing. It was really cute. Well, she exploded out of her diaper onto it. <laughs> at least she didn't do it at church. Um, but, uh, yeah, she's, she's kind of having a rough teething period because it's like those molars in the back. So she is asleep because I told my mother-in-law, too. I was like, please do not let her take a nap. Um, if it hits, like you know, three o'clock or like say four o'clock and she still hasn't taken a nap, don't let her take a nap because usually she'll eat by uh, 4 35 o'clock anyways. She'll have her supper and then we'll take a bath and then she usually goes down by 7, 7 30 with another bottle. And what I have found the last few days with my husband and I being both off and together with her because she acts a fool when when we're both off work and she has us both she acts like a stupid fool like she just doesn't know how to act she ain't right she up in the club like wah, 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 wah. um so so um she just wouldn't go to sleep on time or do anything that she normally does she just acted a fool so uh, my husband took her to take a nap at five o'clock at night and i was like no no you are let her walk around like a zombie. I don't care because what's going to happen is she, and like I told him both times, she did it both times, two nights. She went to bed at five, woke up around eight o'clock and wanted to party till 11 o'clock. And that ain't my life. I ain't about that. I need, <laughs> mama, I ain't about that life. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, she's kind of getting back on the schedule and she's asleep in the other room on her pallet and everything. So, that's why she's not running around too much because she was a zombie when she came home with me today. So I got to play with her for a little while at least. So, uh, If you find them, please make sure they are a good seller because after I bought mine, she deleted the post and did not advertise them right. Ooh, Donna Lee. Girl. Do you know how to print DG coupon list? We click to account. I finally figured it out. Go to shopping list, scroll to bottom, and print. Yes, <laughs> Martha. Martha's telling everybody how you print that um, coupon list. I've been looking for those coupons for almost two weeks and never found them, so I'm done looking. It is almost as depressing as when they took my 15 off of 50 from me. <sighs> well, I am actually in this video, too. You guys are super amazing. Um, it says I have 38 people left on here. I am actually going to be giving away hefty coupons and I was going to do it in another video, but I think since you guys are like just real trooper, trooper scoopers, I'm telling you, it's like poopy. Anyways, since you are guys are straight, um, troopers, um, sitting on here with me forever, I am actually going to be giving away, um, hefty coupons finally. Um, and I know you guys will still be able to use them because the deal still works for next week as well. Um, let me go grab dim coupons and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So sit here for a hot second.
Okay. Oh, dang. I had to check on the baby too. So, okay. Here's what I'm going to do since there's just a few of you left on here. You're real troopers. I am, I already planned on doing this, but I didn't plan on doing it during the live feed, but you guys are just troopers. Let me find it on here. Household items. By the way, that's, I, I keep all my coupons in here. If you guys hadn't seen my videos before, that's how, like, this is literally all my coupons. This is it. I don't have a giant binder or anything like that. I ain't got time for that life. <laughs> so I keep them pretty much like this. Oh, here they are. Okay. So I have 10 of them. I'm planning on keeping my black ones. So you just gonna have to get off of it because it's mine. <laughs> and that's the ones I use. But I'm planning on giving away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So to two people, I will give five coupons each of this right here. This particular coupon. Two people will win these coupons. And all I want you guys to do, don't do it in the live feed because it's not going to show up in the live feed. You're going to have to wait until we're done with this video. Um, but all I want you to do is tell me what f favorite flavor your jelly bean is. What's your favorite flavor? Mine's red. And you know, don't you know this? Look at this. Is there any red in there? No. There's no red. And it's not because I didn't eat them. No. It's because they weren't even hardly there. I've been like looking. Why are they stingy with the red ones, yo? Like, really? That's my favorite flavor. And they're just not even hardly in there. So, two people. All you got to do. Tell me your favorite flavor jelly bean after this video of live is over because it's not going to, I'm not going to be able to pull it up and, and do it on, because usually what I do guys, just so you know, um, anytime I do a drawing, I go through a random generator. So I take my link from this video and then I put it into a, a generator and it pulls up a random name for me and that's how it picks a name. So. Make sure you do it after this live feed because I don't think, even though like the, the live chat shows up now after I publish these videos, I still don't think these generators will pull it. So just do it afterwards, okay? So two people, that's all I'm gonna send to. I'm going to pick, I'm gonna pick these people by midnight tonight, okay? And then I'm gonna pin your names on here. Because I figure I'm going to finish this video in the next few minutes anyways. So I can, you know, finish the dishes and stuff like that and pack my husband's lunch. Because <laughs> we've been on here almost for an hour and I figure it's a good time to finish too. <laughs> okay. But um, I understand how depressing it is to try to find a good coupon. You know, that's that's the breaks too. I hate, I hate, I hate saying that though, but it is. It, I mean, it kind of is. You know, you win some, you lose some, and it's, you just got to be fast about it. And I try to be fast telling you guys what to get, but you know. When you do polydent, let me know. I will, Dixie, and I think Dixie logged off of here, but I'm just going to say in this video, when I do a polydent, anytime I do a haul anymore, I just post it anyways for you guys. So, um, I will post that. I hate when there's a good deal and I need one and the shelf is cleared or even got pushed out of the way once trying to get... Don't forget Maslin J. 7 o'clock on Saturday is the witching hour. Yeah, that's my Harry Potter theme song for you. Just for you. Um, don't forget 7 o'clock on Saturdays. You can use those that, that game deal. You could get your game fling Saturday at 7 o'clock for 95 cents. If you didn't want to wait till Sunday. Um, because we do have at least that digital. So don't forget about that. Somebody said I purchased 10 newspapers yesterday. You crazy girl. What do you say about penny shopping? I like penny shopping. I just don't do it a lot. Sometimes, like I got into it for a hot minute, but it's just so much more things for me to have to pay attention to. And I just, I don't have that time. I just don't have that time all the time. 
I really don't. I need to get on it more. I do like penny shopping, though. It's just a very secretive thing. So... I go to the newspaper office and they sell inserts 10 for 11.25 no matter how much they are. Wow. That's where I need to go, Angela, wherever you are. She gets her inserts 10 for $11.25 no matter how many there are in each Sunday paper. Wow, on Monday. Whew. Now, I'm telling you what, though, Maslin, um if they were all PNGs I'd pay for it. I would. Especially this last PNG. Because I always use those always, um, the always um, pad ones too. I always get those. Because they're $3 and they give you those $2 coupons. I always use them. Y'all are so funny on here sometimes. Where did you get that? I don't even know what Deborah's talking about. Deborah Faulkner asked, where did you get that? And I'm trying to figure out what she's talking about. You'll have to ask me where I got what at, Deborah, because I'm not sure. I am awesome, Carlton. Speckles is not a flavor. <laughs> I like the speckles too, though. Oh, I'm starting to get better day by day from surgery a week ago. Good deal, Kathy. I'm glad to see you on here. Hey, letting you know the Glade is still on instant. My friend just bought some and got instants on them, she said. Wow. People are killing some Glade, too. I'll have to double check that again. Thank you for letting me know, Donna. I'm awesome, Kathy. Thanks for asking about how I am. I'm doing better. We're talking about instant savings and a whole lot of mess, Kathy. I'm going to cross fingers for gain for Chuppa Doll. Yes, Sharon. I definitely am going to talk about... Um, Case where you put it coupons. Um, I am going to do a, a trash bag deal, though. I am going to talk about that because anytime I coupon anything, though, guys, I am going to let you know. I do always try to give you those scenarios. 95% of the time, anything I post on here about any scenario is something I'm probably going to do, too. Or have done or plan on doing. Um, so, Kathy, the good deals definitely is toilet paper, paper towels, and trash bags. So, I'm going to try to get through a lot of my trash bag stuff. And the instant savings for the trash bags is going to keep going until next week. That's why I feel very comfortable giving these away to you guys. Because it's uh, where you take $3 off when you spend $15. Let me double check my little list here. Pretty certain that's what it is. It ends on the 21st of April. And yeah, it's save three when you buy $15. Um, so again, I will be giving these out at the end of these this video. Um, what about gain? People can't hardly get those gain coupons, Kathy. Apparently they're all gone. Uh, but we do have at least one digital for the flings for next week. So if you didn't get your coupons already, at least you have one digital, so you'll at least get one pack of 16 count gain flings for 95 cents next week. So that's good. Or get them this Saturday after seven o'clock because <laughs> that's the, you know, the witching hour. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video, guys. It's been an hour. Oh, you guys are amazing for sitting on here. Um, thank you for always being here and um, talking with me. Hopefully, um, me explaining the instant savings was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any further questions, always list them. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, but don't forget, when this video ends, if you want to win five of these coupons, I'm giving them out to two people 
from this video, I will go back at midnight at Central Standard Time, because that's my time zone, Central Standard Time. So I'm going to give you guys a couple hours to answer my question. I know it's so super difficult for you 30, 40, 40 some odd, 50 some odd people on here. But what is your favorite flavor jelly bean? Tell me your favorite flavor. Uh, make sure you do it after the video. Put it in the, don't put it in this live chat. Put it in the description or in the um comment section after the video because I don't think those generators is going to pull it up. That's how it pulls up and picks me people out randomly so it's always fair. Um, and then I will pin your name on there. Now let me tell you guys, people check in the morning ASAP because what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you you won some coupons and if you don't tell, I've had this happen before, people have not come back to check so make sure you come back to check, okay? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post it at midnight. Because I'm going to bed, yo. I ain't staying up past midnight. Mm -mm -mm. You better believe it's gonna get posted. Because I'm gonna need your personal information and everything too. Um, so tell me what your favorite flavor jelly bean is. Like this video. Hopefully, it is helpful to you. Anytime you guys like these videos, it definitely helps. Uh, me out and my family out and um, if you have any questions list them down below don't forget to tell me your favorite flavored jelly bean and otherwise I guess I'll see you guys next time all right vintage librarian is out bye guys have a good night <laughs> nobody's staying up past midnight